Hi there. Welcome to the third video in my series of the Great Guitar Build of 2020. You saw in the last episode that I was working on the body and on the neck and I haven't shown you an awful lot of the, the work that's happened on the body because it's very repetitive and tedious so I've taken the pieces, I had to cut them up and, and to the right sort of size uh, work out where they were going to go, make sure that I had the edges that were square and flat and ready to be glued and then glue them together and it was rinse and repeat. But at this stage I now have one half of the body which has been completely glued together. Bring that up a little bit. And the other half is just in, in two pieces now and so I'm ready to do the same procedure, um, clean up these edges and glue them all together. And so that will be the first thing I'm going to work on. Then I'm coming to the neck and I'm not going to talk yet about the choice of fretboard because this is just the day after I posted the, the last video where I asked you for your preferences in the fretboard and I'm going to leave that for another day or two and then tally up the, the votes and I'll come back to that later in the video. But what we're going to look at today is this neck blank. So I've got the, the neck blank and the drawing of the, the fretboard and I've decided that I'm going to do a little bit more chopping around and gluing to create a slightly more interesting vestigial headstock. Now the first thing to do is yesterday I glued these parts to this ebony strip, in fact it's a, a piece of an ebony fretboard, a, a second, um, and I want to, I need to check whether that's actually glued straight and I can already see by looking at it that it hasn't. So I'll need to flatten that and then flatten the other pieces and uh, glue them all together. So here's the moment of truth, unclamping the body after the, the final glue job to see whether that works or if there are big cracks or anything. Um, clamping this up properly was very hard to do and a lot of the jobs have been extremely challenging. So here we are. I think that looks okay. I think that's a success and we have a body that we can work on. So that needs to be cut down and then the second piece glued on there, which I'll do later. <coughs> So it's time for a little break from the actual guitar building and I've got a couple of things I want to show you and they're both fretboards. So firstly there's the result of the poll in the last video where I, um, I counted up the votes after almost two days. It had already become clear which was the winner. And with a resounding 63% of the votes across all five of the options, the Kingwood or Violetta was the winner. So this will be the fretboard that I'm going to use. Secondly, I was making another guitar when the Great Guitar Build-Off came up, but I, I took a break from it to get started on the Great Guitar Build-Off. And I was in the middle of doing the fretwork, and I've just finished polishing the frets. And I wanted to show you the inlay on this, because this is rather nice. So the theme for this guitar is 
a phoenix from the ash, because the body is ash, and we decided that we were going to do a phoenix as the inlay on the fretboard. And the friend that I'm making this guitar for suggested that we do it in the style of the PRS brushstroke birds. Now, I'm not very artistic when it comes to drawing, but fortunately I have a son who is, and he made a design, and I did the inlays, and so here is the phoenix inlay. And I think that's turned out rather well. Um, so we have the phoenix itself around the 12th fret with the flames coming from its beak and trailing behind from where it's come off the body. And there's also on the 12th fret another of these little flame type inlays. So that guitar should get finished fairly soon. Um, hopefully I'll have time during the great guitar build off to finish this one as well. Now, Back to the building. So after working with it on the drum sander and getting it reasonably flat, here's the back of the guitar. Uh, the only thing that's happened, which is a bit of a shame, is that it's sanded all the way through this piece of maple here. Um, I'm not sure there's a lot I can do about that, but we'll think about that later. So on the front of the body, now I've marked out, this is where the fretboard is going to come to, these are where the pickups are, this is the line of the bridge, approximately. I'll do those again more accurately later on. And the, the purpose of that was basically to work out where I want to, or where I can cut out some cavities for weight relief. This might seem over the top, but I want to make sure that there are no problems when I drill in the, the holes for the, the saddles in particular. So I'm just gluing these little filler pieces in. The piece that I clamped up yesterday here is actually intended to be for the control cover. Unfortunately, I've just um, found by comparing it to my template that it's a tiny bit too small. So I'm going to have to think of a way to correct that. So to try to solve the problem of the um, control cavity cover being a tiny bit too small, what I've done is just to stick some tape on the inside of my template to make the, the hole a tiny bit smaller. So I'm going to route that out and we'll see how it goes. If it doesn't work then I'll have to come up with a different solution. So here's the control cavity cover that I have now uh, tried to route out, and here's the result. Not good. I solved my control cover problem 
by gluing on an extra piece and then sanding that down to size. It's probably a little bit uh, too tight at the moment, but um, that doesn't look bad. So I was planning to finish this video in a couple of days, but I've decided to draw a line under the third episode here. Um, first of all, the body. So the body, um, you've seen the back, you've seen the, the cover, which is over there somewhere. Um, the front of the body has been cut out pretty much and, and is very nearly ready for the top to be glued on. I just have to flatten it a little bit, um, the middle's a bit high. So there's the body. The top is looking pretty good and I'm fairly happy with that. And finally the neck. So I've been working this week on the headstock, as it will be, um, and gluing all of these pieces on, which had to be done one by one, so that was a bit laborious and took several days. Now, it's a bit gaudy, but there we go, that's in keeping with the rest of the guitar. And I've drawn out a kind of shape, potential shape, for the headstock on it. And the next thing to do, really, is to get my neck template, to cut it to the, the right width, um, make a final decision on the headstock and start cutting that. And then I can start working on the fretboard. So there we go, that's the end of the third episode. I'm going to carry on working on this over the weekend to some extent, although I've got a busy weekend. And I will see you again soon.